Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle and styling. So today is going to be a fun video and this is going to specifically be for women who have trouble finding shoes to fit their feet. And these are for wide foot girls and big feet. I don't want to say big, larger feet, <laughs> meaning a size 11 and up. Now before I get started, I do have a new pair of shoes that I want to show you guys while I am chit-chatting with you. And I went to Jimmy Choo. So I'm just gonna start off with the first brand is Jimmy Choo. Jimmy Choo has sizes 41 through, I believe, I'm starting from the largest sizes, from 41 to I believe a 43. Here's the thing. I have a pair of Jimmy Choo shoes in a 42. I don't wear them because the strap on them, I don't know if my ankles got bigger, I don't know. All I know is that the strap is rather small on my, like it's tight on my ankles. So I am gonna sell those. If you guys are interested, let me know. I've never worn them, they are 42. And they're really cute, just some cute, shoes yeah i let me tell you i bought them because i wanted to wear them and i waited some time and the strap is just it's a little bit too tight for my liking um so i do have them up for sale if you are interested you can definitely send me an email um if you're interested and i do have them on my poshmark store so jimmy choo those are 42 and i want to say i don't know like maybe because they're open in the front that I didn't have an issue with buying a 42. But let me tell you guys, <laughs> I went to Jimmy Choo to purchase the, I don't even know what they're called. Actually, I didn't buy, I didn't go to purchase them. I went to purchase something else, but I wanted to try on the mules with the little studs over the top. Guys, a size 43 was a no-go. So one thing I will say, as a style coach, I never get frustrated when I'm shopping very early on when I started to love to dress when I was a teenager I just knew that going to a mall or something was not gonna be the thing for me when it came to shoes so I would just order them so to avoid getting frustrated I just know that I'm gonna look for some shoes online because 99% of the times the stores are not gonna even carry a 42 in the store and at the time I was only wearing a 41 but I guess my feet getting swollen guys but on another note I purchased these and I think what I'm gonna do is because I was saying there's no way I wear 43 like I'm, I'm literally like a 10 and a half is what they say but my feet are wide so I usually get like an 11 some of these shoes now are being made so small to the point where I have to go to a 12. It doesn't make any sense to me. Like they're just making everything a lot smaller. Let me know if you guys have the same experience because all of my old shoes are an 11 with no issues. So first brand, Jimmy Choo. I'll pop in a video with these on my feet, but I'll show you guys these. Now they have these in this beautiful um, cobalt blue. And they also have it in a uh, like a lime green color. And I'm not like a lime green type of gal, but they're really cute. So these are just a pair of mules. Let me bring them both out. Just a pair of mules. Now here's the thing, when I took them out, they came in a dust bag each with the Jimmy, Lo Jimmy Choo um, logo. So, I, guys, let me tell you, when I pulled these out of the box, I was like, these are not going to fit. They look so small. Like, they look small. But these are a freaking 43. Can you guys see? It's so bright in the camera. But these are a 43, and they fit me perfect. Which means Jimmy Choo is definitely changing the sizing on their shoes. Before you know, we're not going to be able to buy any shoes because... My feet should not still be growing. Now I'm getting a little flat because I don't really wear heels because I'm work from home, but it's ridiculous. 
these are a 43 all right so jimmy choo is the first brand and these are called the basil mule so if you have wide feet and you are a 41 to a 43 definitely check these out these are actually on sale right now they were in my bucket for some time but they're on sale and they're really really cute i like them let me come a little closer so you guys can see it's just a small little i want to say a kitten heel child just a small heel and yeah uh-oh did i go out of focus i think so <laughs> i'm back in focus yeah so just a small little kitten heel but comfortable my feet slide right in um really really cute no issues with these like i said when i pulled them out they looked really small but they're not so jimmy choo is the first brand that i would recommend if you have larger feet and they are wide and i would specifically say if you don't have wide feet you can probably get majority of their shoes but if you struggle you may have to only stick with like mules all right so it doesn't mean that you can't buy designer shoes it just means that you have to just be a little bit more strategic when you are buying shoes don't get upset that you know it may not <laughs> that you can't find a shoe to fit but hold on guys i'm trying to put the shoes back yeah, so don't get upset if something doesn't fit you. Just try another style of shoe. So that is the first brand, and that is Jimmy, Jimmy Choo, guys. The second shoe brand are Manolo Blahniks. Now, I do not have a pair of Manolo Blahniks. However, I am seeing a ton of women who have wide feet saying that they run big. Now, there is a young lady on YouTube and I want to say her name, her channel name is Pocket and Bows, I believe. Pocket and Bows, yes. And she kind of breaks down her theory on what she thinks Manolo, Manolo Blonix sizing is. And that is because she has multiple pairs from two different places. One or two from the Manolo Blahniks website and then the other she got from like Neiman Marcus or something like that and she kind of goes into like the number the dots of numbers on the bottom of the shoe and how she feels like the sizing is different from her experience and she also feels like when you purchase them from Jimmy Choo the site not Jimmy Choo <laughs> Manolo Blahniks that they actually do run bigger and they are a little bit smaller the ones here with the, the dot situation so check her video out if I can find it, I can try to link it, but I'm not really good at that. <laughs> but her name is Pocket and Bows. Um, so that's the second designer brand, Manolo Lonix. Um, In my closet right now, I have Staud, S-T-A-U-D. They're not considered a luxury brand. However, they do have really nice shoes and boots. I did a video on two pair of boots that I got from them that I absolutely love and the quality is great. Now, when it comes to suede boots and shoes, guys, I'm not gonna lie, I feel that a lot of brands are jipping us on suede. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I have three pair of boots from Nine West from years ago. Those are suede this new stuff that they have out here is full suede it's just not suede and they're charging five six hundred dollars for shoes and they're not even really they're not even real suede but Stahl is another brand they go up to a size 42 um but they do run small in my opinion and that's because i purchased a pair of boots and an 11 it was fine i couldn't zip it up child i have a high instep so that was the struggle so Jimmy Choo, Manolo Blahnix, Staud, S-T-A-U-D. Okay, Stuart Weissman. Stuart Weissman goes up to a 40, I want to say a 43 as well, but I'm going to be on the safe side and say 42. But they also carry wide. Now, I have sandals that are 
from Stuart Weissman. These are a 10 and a half wide. These are not really wide, guys. I'll be quite honest with you. They're not. But this is what I'm saying. These are a 10 and a half. They fit my feet. I am a 10 and a half wide. So when I do get an 11, I'm usually fine. But something with Jimmy Choo wasn't working. So these are their like classic pumps. I have classic heels, strappy heels. They have some with a thin heel. I just got the block heel. They do have different heel heights. So if you are a person who wants to wear like a super high heel, definitely go for those. But these are their nude, I think they're called nude and nudist sandals. But Stuart Weissman is the other brand. And Stuart Weissman would be considered a luxury brand because they're not cheap, okay? So Stuart Weissman, so Jimmy Choo, Manola Blonix, Stard, Stuart Weissman. We also have, she doesn't really make shoes as often, but Rebecca Minkoff. Okay, I wear her shoes in a size 11. No problem. Even with a strap or something. So this is what I'm saying. These brands are changing how they are making shoes and it's really becoming annoying. So Rebecca Minkoff is another brand that I love. Um, do not sleep on Kenneth Cole, guys. Kenneth Cole carries larger sizes. I have boots in an 11. If you are an 11, you can definitely go to it. If you're a 12, I do not think they carry a 12. So for my size 11 girls, definitely try Kenneth Cole. You could also go with, and this is <sighs> Alexander Berman, all right? The issue with Alexander Berman is that they run small. So if you are an 11, you definitely have to get a 12. And this is in their boots. I have not purchased shoes yet from them, but their boots definitely, they run, they're just kind of narrow. But for me, when I sized up, it was pretty fine. Uh, and it's because it had a zipper on it. And I have a high instep, and in order for me to zipper it completely up, I had to size up to give me that space. So that's that. And then we have Mark Fisher and Charles David. They are a hit or miss. However, if you have a size 11 foot, you're definitely gonna be able to find something. A 12, they run to a 12. They do not go past a 12. They sometimes have really, really nice boots. These, okay, let's get into the suede again. These boots here, I'm gonna show you guys. These boots. I'm just gonna show you one. These are real suede. This is what I'm trying to tell you. And this is a cheaper brand than Stodd, but these are real suede, okay? Real suede. I don't know what the heck Stodd was thinking. I like the boots, but still, they're not suede, but these are 100% suede. And I buy things that work well with my feet, guys. If I can't find something in my size I'm just gonna keep looking I'm not gonna get stressed out I'm just gonna keep looking and find something that I like and <laughs> so those are those and okay so let's get into oh and starred sandals yes if you have a high end step let's show you those if you have a high end step now these do have like the little strap here, right? See that? Now I, listen, my feet fat guys. <laughs> so sometimes if I wear these and this is getting too tight on my foot just from sitting, my feet are gonna swell and that's just because my feet's always just like this um, from back in the day. So, but these I got in a 12, so they go up to a 42, but start, not start. Yeah, Stott has really good quality shoes, guys. Don't sleep on them. You don't necessarily always have to buy what everybody else has, especially if you have a larger foot because you're gonna start to feel like nothing fits you and you can't buy trendy shoes. So I always recommend my clients to just, we're gonna get the things that fit for your feet and your body type. Otherwise, you're gonna be stressed out. Most of the influencers and stuff, they are not that tall. 
there's like very few that's tall. I mean, I, when I mean tall, I mean like 5'11 and up. They're not tall. And then most tall girls have bigger feet, right? If they have slim feet, they're lucky. If they don't, they have to, you know, they have to just kind of finagle this fashion world and find things that work for them. Um, and then I'm going to just say one more. Actually, I'm going to give you guys two more. Via Spiga, very old brand, but I have some really nice shoes from Via Spiga. Nice booties. And I feel like I don't want to get rid of them because I feel like they're, they're just so cute on my feet. Um, and then the last brand I'm going to say is Sam Edelman. You guys know, actually, two more. Three. Sam Edelman is one of those brands that's always going to be around, in my opinion. They go up to a size 12. They're hazel pumps. If you don't have a pair of hazel pumps, get you a pair. They're not expensive, and they have a ton of colors. Now, what I did notice was that they changed their branding, like the signature, how it is on the shoe. The old branding, I wore a size 11. The new branding, I got a 12. So I know they're doing something to the shoes, guys. Um, the other brand is Tori Birch. She carries larger sizes. If you're into her stuff, I only have boots by her because they are, they don't have her logo like written. <laughs> Let me show you. Let me just show you. <laughs> her logo is not like, uh oh. It's not all over the boots. And these are like my throw on boots that I wear when I just want to be like chill. Um, but she definitely has a size 11 and a 12. And. And the last one, Jennifer Lee. Jennifer Lee is a new artist, a new artist, a new designer. Um, she does have boots and shoes. I have not purchased her shoes. She is, I believe, she's Asian. She's an Asian woman. So in my head, I'm like, okay, they're not gonna be for like a big foot, right? But she has really nice boots. The Driftwood boots, I've showed you guys, I did a video on those before. The Driftwood boots do go up to a size 43. Um, so if you have that size, you can get that size. I got a 42. They actually are big on my feet. So I would say in hers, boots, true to size. Now if there's a point, you probably have to size up to give you that wiggle room. But those are some of the brands that I currently buy with the exception of the Manola Blahniks. And I am gonna get me a pair, guys. I don't care, before this month or the month of July is out, I'm gonna order me a pair from the website and see how those actually fit my feet because the lady said that she feels like the ones from the actual website run a little bit wider. So I'll try those out in a 42. Maybe I'll get a 43, I don't know. Cause I'm like, I don't know. Cause I've actually purchased two pair of the Jimmy Choo slides. I'm waiting for the 12 to come, the 42 to come, and I'm just gonna send them back because I like how these fit, and then I'm done. I'm done um, with this. But um, those are the brands. I do have some more goodies for you guys, but I'm not gonna get into that until next week. So let me know if you guys want another video on some more shoes. I can definitely try them out for you. But let me tell you, I went to Bottega, and when I went into Jimmy Choo, this is when I realized Jimmy Choo shoes are changing. And Bottega, let me tell y'all, it was not going down for me. My chubby feet, and you know what? I don't get upset. <laughs> My friend, she wears, I want to say we wear the same size, but it's weird because in sneakers, I, she gets a larger size. It's very weird. In sneakers, in women's, in a 10, they seem so big on my feet. So I always get like a nine and I don't know. My left foot is definitely smaller than my right foot. My right foot is definitely wider than my left foot. Um, so I got that whole thing going on. But Bottega, the shoes was not fitting. The, I'm not sure what they call, I think they call Lido heels? Maybe. The, I tried on the stretch mules, that didn't work. And I think they call Lido with the little basket weave on top. Let me tell you, there's a piece inside of the Bottega shoes before you get to that little basket weaving part that's super narrow. If it didn't have that, I would be cool. Cause it was wide enough, 
But for the girlies that you see with them on, they have slimmer feet or even an average foot. So please do not be discouraged if you cannot fit these trendy shoes or certain designers. They're just not catering to our feet and it is what it is, right? We'll find other brands that do and support them. But same thing with clothes. For my tall ladies, the struggle is real. Like, I have became accustomed to finding things that work with my body. I don't get frustrated, and this is what I try to tell my clients. Don't get frustrated when you can't find something to fit you. Tailoring is my best friend, and I'm going to always sell that on this channel. So I'll let you guys know the other goodies that I got in a separate video so I can focus on how I'm going to style the stuff and how the stuff actually fits my tall frame. So tall ladies, be on the lookout for that video because I want you guys to see that we can buy things that are at Zara. We can buy things that are at Mango. We can buy, we can buy certain things. We just have to buy the things that work with us. If you know you cannot buy pants from Zara, then don't do it. I got lucky with some pants from Zara and I just purchased some trousers from somewhere and they fit great. I still have room to take them out. However, I don't need to if I don't want to. But those are the brands that I think you should look into if you have a size 11 and up to a 43 for some brands. Um, and this is these are not the brands that are typical that most tall girls shop at. So I know they shop at Lolita or something like that. I've never purchased shoes from there, but I do see a lot of tall girls who have like really large feet. Um, they don't, I don't think it's a struggle for them. They just shop at this place in another spot. But these are the places that I currently shop at because I'm still big on quality. You would think Sam Edelman is like cheaper, but Sam, Edel Sam Edelman pumps are cute. So don't sleep on them, guys. Like I said, buy what works for your body. Forget about what everybody else is doing. You may not be able to get all of the trends because of your height and your foot size, but who cares? You can still be stylish when you put your mind to it. So let me know if you guys want to like another video on some shoes. I can definitely find some more, even try some for you. But if you stay to the end of this video, please comment, Coco, we see you. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles and why and guys don't forget to follow my blog coco styles nyc and if you are interested in style services coco styles ny.com i offer free complimentary consultations and we can get to the bottom of your style dilemma especially if you are tall and you are struggling guys but i do work with all clients but i am on tiktok coco styles nyc and i will catch you guys in the next one and make sure you are subscribing to the channel it keeps me going and I want to thank you guys for getting me past a thousand subscribers. People may think it's a little bit, but I'm very, very appreciative and I love you guys. All right, guys. Bye.